With 2022 now well underway and a whole host of new offerings set to land on our screens in the not-too-distant future, it seems as good a time as ever to assess the incoming shows that may be doomed to join the unfortunate pile of ultimately unsuccessful silver screen endeavours. I'm Gareth from WhatCulture.com and here are 10 upcoming TV shows doomed to fail. Number 10. Rangers of the New Republic Disney and Lucasfilm simply were not messing around when it came time to announce what the future holds for their ever-expanding Star Wars universe towards the end of 2020. And while the likes of The Mandalorian Season 3, Obi-Wan Kenobi, and Ahsoka series seem like can't-miss prospects, there were a few properties that have had their lights somewhat dimmed since that announcement. A Rangers of the New Republic series that was said to have interconnected with The Mandalorian appears to have hit a few bumps in the road in recent times, with many pointing to the possibility of Gina Carano's Cara Dune being a central figure in the series due to her becoming a New Republic Marshal in The Mandalorian and her eventual controversial departure from Lucasfilm forcing an apparent change in direction for the show. As Kennedy herself noted last year when talking about the future of the show, we'd never written any scripts or anything on that. Some of that will figure into future episodes, I'm sure, of the next iteration of Mandalorian. But with Rangers of the New Republic still listed as an incoming show on Disney+, Plus, the future looks to be anything but certain for this Mando spin-off. Number 9. Halo on the surface, the arrival of a long-awaited Halo TV project should be the source of unbridled celebration. Since being pitched and seemingly set in motion back in 2013 with Steven Spielberg at the producing wheel, fans have been licking their lips at the all-round potential of this grand Xbox property being given the sprawling and cinematic treatment it undoubtedly deserves. But nearly a decade in development hell has left many wondering whether this Master Chief starring tale will ever truly be able to live up to the unprecedented video game adaptation hype. Numerous director and show runner switches also suggest that this tall Paramount Plus order hasn't been a process that recent Season 1 helmers Kyle Killen and Stephen Kane would like to repeat, with both showrunners refusing to return should Halo earn a second season. As with any highly anticipated adaptation of a beloved video game property, Halo devotees will no doubt be hoping for a series that honours, respects, and expands on the masterful lore that came before it in March. But this may just be a mission that even Pablo Schreiber's Master Chief can't successfully pull off. Number 8. Bel Air of the many unexpected things to drop out of 2021, the reveal of the Will Smith star-making machine that was the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air getting a dramatic overhaul was up there with the most divisive. With said classic series, you had a formula as wholesome as it was frequently hilarious, with Smith and the gang lacing side-splitting laughs into tales that could also pull on your heartstrings on occasion. So did we really need a reboot of something so cherished? And if so, was taking the sitcom core away from this fish-out-of-water scenario really the right way to go? Judging from the trailers alone, Alone, a decent amount of fans already aren't convinced that it is. And while it may prove to be a wise call to steer clear of trying to replicate what the irreplaceable OG Fresh Prince and his family produced first time round, this far more polished and grittier Peacock offering screams run-of-the-mill teen drama and will likely get lost in the already crowded shuffle because of it. Number 7. Agatha House of Harkness Marvel Studios' first Disney Plus arrival in the form of WandaVision boasted some of the most riveting and compelling twists and character developments brought into existence over the course of 2021. And among the most shocking turn of events on show was the reveal that nosy neighbor Agnes was actually a frighteningly powerful witch who was on a mission to harness Wanda Maximoff's chaos magic. Yet while the outstanding Catherine Hahn most definitely produced one of the finest turns of her already vibrant career, in the role of the unexpected antagonist, news of Agatha Harkness getting her own spin-off did eventually come as something of an odd surprise to most. Sure, the concept of Han reprising her devious role for future MCU projects in a supporting capacity is a no-brainer. But as the likes of Hawkeye and the Falcon and the Winter Soldier proved last year, some characters just don't click in the leading role mold in the same way as others. And House of Harkness currently feels more like a cheap attempt to capitalize on the popularity of a breakout character than a well-thought-out narrative that demands its own show. Number 6. Moon Knight Though the casting of Oscar Isaac looked to be a match made in heaven for the role of Mark Spector, the first real look at the star's upcoming Moon Knight performance that dropped recently left more questions than answers for most. Yet while Isaac's questionable British accent quickly came under fire in said Disney Plus trailer, some were quick to point out that this vocal quality is likely a result of Spectre slipping into his alternate personality of Stephen Grant in the footage, with the character possessing dissociative identity disorder. With Moon Knight already looking set to carve out its own unique corner in the MCU, as shown in the aforementioned trailer's eye-catching visuals and the all-round nutty concept of Spectre being the conduit for a damn Egyptian moon god, 
This most definitely feels like Marvel's riskiest TV show gamble yet, and will likely live or die based on Isaac's work as the leading light. With the show likely dealing with issues associated to mental health as well, one wrong turn or badly handled depiction of Spectre's disorder could also leave Kevin Feige and the gang with egg on their face. Number 5. House of the Dragon Not even tasting a drop of Game of Thrones goodness since the mainline series came to its lackluster conclusion back in 2019, you'd be forgiven for assuming that just about every Thrones fan in existence would be champing at the bit to see what HBO does next with the world of Westeros. But then, the aforementioned network pulled the plug on their first planned prequel spin-off after pumping $30 million into creating a pilot, and fans quietly began to clench their cheeks at the prospect of what could be on the horizon. With said prequel reportedly not delivering on the promise of the original series, the pressure on House of the Dragon set to drop on HBO this year to deliver the goods has increased substantially. And though the promise of more dragons, a bunch of mad Targaryens, and a cast that boasts the likes of Paddy Considine, Reese Ifans, and Matt Smith look interesting enough in the series' most recent teaser, trying to either top one of the biggest shows of all time or even just step out of its shadow feel like simply too tall an order for this house. Number 4. The Last of Us Another cherished video game set to have new life breathed into it via the medium of television will also land on HBO this year. But much like Halo before it, The Last of Us TV series has experienced a difficult road into existence. Originally conceived as a film on two separate occasions, after both of those concepts ultimately ended up in the trash can, a series that is expected to focus on the events of the first game and some parts of its critically acclaimed sequel was given the green light. But even with the inspired casting of Pedro Pascal, Pascal and Bella Ramsey as Joel and Ellie, respectively, trying to do justice to a game as respected and protected as this Sony and Naughty Dog project may be another near-impossible task for HBO. And the fact the show is set to tell the story that has already been digested by those who adored the game means that it could be tough to captivate those who know how the tale will unfold, with any unexpected deviations from the source material also likely pissing off fans of the game. Number 3. Andor as I've already noted, a number of Lucasfilm's incoming Star Wars series look set to seize their fans' attention from minute one, with the return of Hugh McGregor and Hayden Christensen in the Obi-Wan Kenobi series looking to be one of the most anticipated TV moments of 2022. I can't bloody wait. However, another character's return has seemingly been lost in the mix a touch in recent times, with the Diego Luna starring Andor also dropping on Disney Plus in the coming months, and not being anywhere near as promoted as the other high-profile Star Wars small-screen incoming arrivals. And while the concept itself feels like the sort of formula that made Rogue One such an unexpected delight, that being Luna's Cassian Andor giving us an entry point into the formative years of the Rebellion, the fact this show won't be directly connected to Disney Plus's only real genuine Star Wars TV smash hit in The Mandalorian, due to the time it is set to go down in, and doesn't possess a heavy hitter like McGregor's Kenobi in the cast, may leave Andor facing an uphill battle to get eyes on the 200 cast member equipped epic. Number 2. Space Force when you assemble a cast that is spearheaded by the ridiculously talented and rather expensive duo of Steve Carell and John Malkovich, you better believe that anything less than a side-splitting roller coaster will be seen as a streaming service setback. And sure enough, with Netflix's first season of Space Force largely underwhelming those who bothered to watch, outside of its leading pair, of course, with both the dudes reportedly taking home $13 million between them just a star, it's not hard to see why many were shocked to see the streaming giants give the green light to a second season for the workplace space dramedy. With that sort of cash being splashed on the top names alone, the margin for failure when it comes to a series of this size is intensely small. With actor Jimmy O. Yang summing the project up as The Office that shot like a $100 million Marvel movie. Should Carell & Co. make it two for two when it comes to lackluster launches? Expect Space Force to join Netflix's ever-growing pile of failed experiments. Number 1. The Lord of the Rings – The Rings of Power Make no bones about it. As far as monumental investments go, Amazon Prime are about to double down on arguably the biggest in the history of television. Dropping a cool $465 million on season one alone, Jeff Bezos' The Lord of the Rings adventure is set to finally get underway in September. But whether or not the series acts as the long sought after can't miss flagship of Prime Video is far from a certainty at this point. There's no question that diehard Rings fans and even the most casual of viewer will likely tune into this tale that is set thousands 
thousands of years before the likes of J.R.R. Tolkien's The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings. To see what all the fuss is about. However, much like some of the video game properties already mentioned, trying to live up to a series and world as groundbreaking and important as Peter Jackson's deeply immersive Middle Earth is up there with the most unenviable jobs on planet Earth. Throw into that mix a cast made up of largely unknown entities, and nothing more than a paint-by-numbers title teaser trailer to go off so far, and it's safe to say that Amazon have it all to lose with the Rings of Power, and will be praying their $1 billion five-season epic isn't cast into the fire out of the gates. And that's our list. Know of any other upcoming TV shows doomed to fail? Let us know all about them in the comment section right down below, and do not forget to like, share, and click on that subscribe button while you're at it. Also, be sure to head on over to whatculture.com and find some more wonderful articles just like the one this video you're watching right now is based on. I've been Gareth from whatculture.com. Thank you, as always, for clicking on this video today, and I hope I see your faces very, very soon. Bye-bye!